It's time for By the Numbers, where we give you the numbers that tell stories. Today's number, 100 million. That's just the starting point of the grand total of users here in the U.S. of the wildly popular app TikTok. The U.S. has about 330 million people in total, so to put that in perspective, it means more than one in four people in the U.S. use TikTok. We're focusing on TikTok right now because today's the deadline for TikTok's owner, it's the Chinese company ByteDance, to sell its U.S. TikTok business. So remember, all the way back in August, President Trump demanded that the app be spun off because of what he considered national security concerns. He gave the company a 90-day timeline to get a sale done, and that deadline has quickly arrived. TikTok has reached an agreement to sell parts of its business to Oracle and to Walmart, but the deal, it hasn't yet been finalized, and it's unclear what the Trump administration would actually do to TikTok if a deal isn't reached. It could find the company, or it could actually outright ban the service, and if that were to happen, it would tick off a lot of TikTok users. Bloomberg News reporter Shelley Banjo has been following the TikTok back and forth for a while now, and she's here with me now to bring us up to speed. Shelley, it's so great to see you. Um, the long-awaited deadline is finally here. What does that mean for TikTok? Yeah, it's crazy that it's already November 12th, um, but really we're <laughs> And waiting. the election's not even done. Right, exactly. <laughs> yeah, we would hope to get a little bit more clarity, um, but we're, we're kind of waiting to see what uh, the government is going to do. TikTok has basically said that the U.S. government has kind of ghosted them, like hmm. they're waiting for for an answer, they asked for an extension on the deal, and they haven't heard anything back. And so today, they, you know, the government has until midnight to kind of say something, um, and then you know, give them give TikTok an extension or not. And then if they don't, um, we're we're kind of not sure what's going to happen. It's a little bit of an uncharted territory. Okay, so when this first happened over the summer, um, my neighbor came and, and and talked to me, and he said his kids were freaking out. Right, his kids are like you know 12 and 14. They use TikTok all the time, and they want to know what this meant for them. So, if we don't know anything new by tonight, what does it mean for for people around the country who use TikTok? Yeah, I mean, I remember that night. People went on their live streams, and it almost felt like a funeral to to these kids. You know, they yeah. were kind of giving these obituaries to TikTok, and then something really funny happened people rushed to download the app. So this ban has actually been kind of great for TikTok. People are rushing to download the app. Creators are making tons of videos. Brands have been rushing to make brand deals with these creators in hopes of being like, well, if this dream is gonna end, I might as well, you know, kind of captivate, you know, use it now while I can. Um, so mostly for these creators and these young people, not much is going to change because what happens next is that the ball goes into the government's court and then it's up to the US government to then take TikTok to court and say, Say, you're huh. not complying with um, with this order and then it's just going to kind of be wrapped up in the court system and could probably go on for quite some time. What about for Oracle and Walmart? I think to a lot of people watching, two surprising suitors for the U.S. business of TikTok. What does this mean for them? Yeah, I mean, Oracle and Walmart are, are kind of playing this game pretty well. They're basically saying, like, look, we want to be part of this business. We want to, um, you know, we want to get, get get into this, make this new deal. Um, but they're, they're you know, they're treading water. They're like, we're not going to go out and really do much for it. You know, we want to benefit from it, but we're not going to, you know, go out on a limb or anything like that. And so um, they're also waiting. I mean, all, everybody's basically waiting, like, okay, U.S. government, tell us what's going on. And clearly the Trump administration has kind of bigger fish to fry right now um, in terms of, you know, court battles with the election. Yeah. Like speaking, of, speaking of waiting, I think a lot of Americans are waiting for the president to actually concede the exactly. election to President-elect Joe Biden. Uh, raises the question, what does a Biden administration look like for TikTok? Is there a chance that none of this ends up coming to pass because Biden will take office on January 20th and nothing will happen to TikTok uh, until then? But at the same time, right, there's this there's this bipartisan issue, too, because Democrats have spoken out about this as well. Yeah, and this is the genius of ByteDance and TikTok. They, they've been kind of waiting out this process and dragging it out as long as possible to kind of open up the options for them. Biden remains a wild card. He hasn't uh, delineated a stance on TikTok one way or another, but he's not necessarily going to go easy on them either because, as you mentioned, you know, the U.S. Congress, the American public, for that matter, also isn't, you know, 100 um, percent, you know, with them going easy on China. They want to see a tough China stance. So Biden's going to likely do something. Mm -hmm. It's just probably not going to be as draconian as shutting down the app altogether. All right. So TikTok users, the app is safe for now. So far. So far. <laughs> Bloomberg News reporter Shelley Banjo, thank Thank you so much for joining us this morning.
The biggest stories, the moment they happen from around the globe. Subscribe to Bloomberg Quick Take now for insight in an instant.